All right, everyone, 4.1 just released. Let's talk about the new static keyword. All right, so this error that we're seeing here is the very thing that this new keyword is gonna allow us to kind of fix, or at least allow with our custom classes. So you can see with the our JSON here, we can call stringify, pass in, uh, in this case, my dictionary and an indentation. That way it can look nice when it gets printed out. We can call this stringify because it is a static function. Now we're getting an error here with label, as we cannot call get line count. And as the error reads, cannot call non static function get line count on the class label directly. Must make an instance instead. Which means we have to create one, like for example, my object up here, my variables here, I have a new label. So I can't do that, but I can say my object dot get line count because now I have an instance up, right? I created a new instance up here. So how can we do that? How can we use that when we're creating new classes? Well, we go up and create a new one. I'm gonna call this demo class. Here we are, we can get rid of everything, that's fine. Class name, demo class. We don't need any pictures. Now, normally we come in, we create a function, we say, uh, my function, sure. and we'll print out, ta-da, I work now. All right, so now if we go create uh, a new class of demo class, and we can call it my func. All right, so if we come in, we can say demo class dot my func. And you see, we're going to run into that same error. We can't do it. It's not going to let us. So we would have to come in and do something like var dc equals demo class dot new. And then do dc dot my phone. Well, what if we don't want to do new sex? Maybe we don't need to create an object, right? Maybe we're creating like a utility kind of script, something that we can just call uh, just to use these functions. And maybe we don't necessarily need to create a global or an auto load script for this. Well, now we don't have to. So let's do that and erase this and my error will return here. And you see the, the way to fix this is we just turn this from a funk to a static funk. Of course, save our script and just like that, the error will be gone. And now it'll let, let us run code and you'll see it printed out down there in the output, just like the function uh, is supposed to be doing here in the class. Ta-da, I work now. So that's all we have to do is just add that static keyword at the beginning and we can now access it without creating an instance of it. And this should work for variables as well in the event that uh, maybe you need to access this for uh, some reason in your project so for example we got like bar right you can say health here all right we'll call it 100 save that but we're not going to be able to access that from here they see health is in devil class we have a parsing error can't find the member but if we come in and we make it a static come back now we're able to access that health variable here and if we run this see we won't have any errors no errors everything runs fine and if we want we can go ahead and print that out and that is now going to show up there 100 in our output so that is what the new static keyword can do for you so you can use it for your functions you can use it for your variables and then you're able to access those variables and function or use those functions without having to create an instance of a class. All right. 
This is a quicker video here, but with 4.1 just coming out and having a brand new keyword, here I'd let you guys know what that keyword is because maybe you don't read the uh, patch notes and show you how to use it and why we would use this static keyword. All right, that's it for this week. Take care, have yourselves a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.